Wearing the Jersey, brought to you by WVU Medicine. Wrestling runs deep in the DNA of Tony D'Angelo. Uh, I was five when I started wrestling. And I had a brother who was six and my younger brother who was four. And my dad wrestled at Lycoming College in Pennsylvania for a couple years and then uh, was a stay-at-home dad. And, and I think he just wanted something to do almost and got us into wrestling. And the D'Angelo family is still deeply involved with wrestling to this day. Tony was a three-time North Carolina State champion, coached, of course, by his father, Randy. His older brother, Joe, stayed closer to home and wrestled at NC State before becoming an assistant coach at Hofstra. And younger brother, Jake, is a redshirt sophomore at NC State. Tony considers himself fortunate to have grown up in such a supportive family. You know, growing up, it was, I was never by myself, and my mom, you know, some nights we couldn't eat that much dinner, and she understood that. She didn't cook that much. Thank God. And then my dad, you know, he always helped us with our weight. And then, you know, coming to college, you know, they're on top of you about those things. You know, your diet, what you're eating, your weight. And I think some people don't have that in high school, but I, I was fortunate enough to have that. After high school, Tony decided on a different path, going to Missouri for college. It was there he met coach Sammy Henson. And when Henson came to West Virginia, D'Angelo followed. I met him and I was like, man, this dude's crazy was my like first initial thought, but I liked it because my dad coached me and he was a little bit crazy too, so it was almost comforting. And uh, he pushed me, I mean, from that first practice, he pushed me all the way to where I am now. I mean, it's just, it's exactly what I needed. Tony took a season off and had surgery to repair his shoulder. For someone who had been wrestling most of his life, taking a year off was a hard task. To sit out last year, was it was tough, it was, you know, I had to be patient. I learned a lot of things. I kind of saw the program from the outside and learned that way and sat in on every practice I could and sat in on individuals and just kind of did what I could to get better while I was injured. And then now being a part of it, 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 it means the world. I mean. You know, I've never been like the strongest kid on the mat. I've never been, you know, the fastest, but I definitely, I, I definitely wrestled full seven minutes. You know, I think there's a little bit of a meanness about me that helps. You know, it's about March. That's what matters. March matters. You know, it being January, you want to get those wins, especially against Big 12 opponents. But, you know, March is, March is when it goes down. I mean, anything's possible, especially under this staff. So, as long as we keep pushing forward, and I, I like the direction I'm headed and hope to see a lot more success.